Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to squarespace.com and then up in the top right hand corner, click the Get Started button. You'll be brought to the templates page and it does not matter which template you choose, so just choose the first one in the list. Then, if you don't already have a Squarespace account, you'll be prompted to create one, or you can click the Login button. I'm going to fast forward here, so just create your account. Once you've logged in, you'll be given a few prompts asking you questions about what type of website you're building, or you can just hit the Skip button um, towards the bottom right here to skip through this. So the first thing you want to do is over in the left-hand side, click on the Pages tab and then click on the plus button and we're going to select a cover page. Now you can change the layout. They have lots of options of the different styles of cover pages that you can use. Um, I'm just going to use this first one as my example. Change all the information here. Then once I've customized my information on the page, I'm going to click Save. You can also click into the media area um, and then select an image off your desktop and drag it right into here um, to change this background image, but I'm just going to leave it for this example video. Now the most important thing that we want to do is change our action. Um, before we can change the action, what we actually need to do is also create a MailChimp account. So I'm going to head over to MailChimp.com and then click sign up for free. It'll ask you for prompts um, to create an account. Go just follow the steps and I'm going to fast forward again. Okay, so your new MailChimp account is going to look like this. Um, we don't need to fiddle around with any of the settings, but what we do need to do before we go back to Squarespace is create a new list. So up here in the top you're going to click on lists and then click create list. Again just complete all these form fields here. I'm going to fast forward. Once you've Finish creating your list, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. I currently have no contacts, um, but that's okay. We're going to get some contacts in here soon. Um, now we are finished in the MailChimp side of things. We're going to go back to Squarespace. Then in the action area, this is just a button that links somewhere. So I'm not looking to have a button. Um, that is just a link. I want to be able to collect people's email addresses. So I'm going to click, type in download now and then click on edit form. I don't need a um, subject and a message from them. All I need is their name and their email address. You opt in. And then over in the storage area, this is where we're going to connect it to MailChimp. So we click on MailChimp. And if you have an account which you just created, it should remember you. Click login. Then from the list drop down menu, I'm going to click my example list and click save. So what I've done is I've created a Squarespace cover page. I have created a MailChimp account. Then I have connected the two together so that when people click on download now, it'll come up with a form. They complete the form. Once they've done this, they will be added to your MailChimp list. Next, we're going to talk about how to actually give them the gift. So going back to my 
um, MailChimp account. Okay, so back in my MailChimp here, I have my list. And then besides stats, I have a little drop down menu. I want to click on sign up forms. I'm going to click general forms. And then I want to click on final welcome email. I'm going to tick yes to send a final welcome email. Now I'm going to want to change from subscription confirmed. I'm going to want to change it to something that sort of indicates that um, a download is within this email. So then I'm going to click um, edit to the text area. going to highlight the text and then make it a link. So I have a few options. I can link it to a web address um, or I can link it to a file. So I'm going to select file. I'm going to click upload in the top right hand corner and then select the file that I want to use. Then I'm going to click insert. So this automatically has added the um, link to my file. Um, it's hosted with MailChimp. I'm going to click insert. Maybe I'm going to try and make that a little bit more noticeable. Um, let's up the size a little bit. Perfect. Then I'm going to click save and close. There we have it. So now um, when your new subscribers are confirmed, they will receive this email and click here to download their free gift. So now that my free gift is all prepared in MailChimp, um, the last things we need to do is get a domain name and pick a Squarespace plan. So I'm going to head back over here to my Squarespace site. And head back from Pages to Settings. And then over to Billing and Account and then billing. So we need to purchase a Squarespace plan in order for our new website to go live. Oh, I just forgot one thing actually. We need to make this the home page first. So I'm going to go back over here, go to pages. Then I'm going to click on the little gear icon over example cover. Scroll down, set as home page, click confirm and click save, you know that your homepage has been um, changed when in the left hand side here you get the little home icon with that page. All these other pages you can honestly delete them, you don't need them at all. Or you can leave them, honestly no one will see them um, because your cover page is set as the home page and so there's no other navigation options. Okay, so I'm going to go back to home again and now we're going to work on purchasing our Squarespace plan. So billing an account, billing, click upgrade your plan. Um, I have cheaper prices because I'm a Squarespace Circle member, um, but I do have a 10% off code for you. It is my name, P-A-I-G-E, page, um, so you can select the plan. Um, for this, all you need is the personal plan. Click select, go through and put in all your payment details here. Um, again, you can use the code page, P-A-I-G-E, for 10% off your plan. I'm going to fast forward quickly as you do that. And then the last thing that we need to do is to get a domain name for your new website. So I'm going to click over here in domains, click get a domain. Now I need to search a domain name. Let's do new web website. Let's see if it's free. Perfect. Newfabwebsite.com is free. I'm going to click add to cart and then click proceed to checkout. You can put in all your details down here. Hit continue. You'll again be prompted to check out.
Once you've gone through checkout for your domain name, then you can search your domain here. You will be brought to your website. I didn't actually purchase that domain name. Um, you can go buy it if you want to. Um, you'll be brought to your website. It'll look like this. And you click the Download Now button. They input their first name, last name, email address. It will automatically be added to your MailChimp subscriber list. And then once they confirm their email, they'll be sent that final welcome email with the link to your free download. 